and ask God that thou would fill me with your divine presence. Yes. Please, sir, Jesus. Sanctify me wholly. Yes, yes. yes, Lord. And let the words that I speak be thy words. Yes. Let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yes. For you are my strength and my redeemer. And those, the Father, that have the ears to hear, give them understanding. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, send your word. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise his holy name. Thank you, Lord. Go with me. Romans 8. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God. Yes, sir. For he does not support the law of God, nor indeed can it. So then, those who are in the flesh cannot please God. Hmm. I want to move over to the same chapter, verse 14. For many as led by the Spirit of God. Come on now. All right. These yeah. are the Son of God. Mm. Let's briefly talk about from the subject who's in charge? Amen. All right. Like that. Right <laughs> For Christian to be able to stand in these horrible last days that we're enduring in these troubled times, one thing they need to have to overcome is to first recognize their enemies. The first thing we Ephesians 6 tells us definitely that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against rulers of darkness, against wickedness and in high places. Things that we cannot see. So it's not the person that you're angry with or made you upset and mad. So don't get angry with them. That's a good time to get angry with the enemy and just pray for your brother. Pray for your sister. And bind that work of the enemy that's using them to wreak havoc in other people's lives. Yeah. Satan himself is the chief deceiver. Yeah. Y'all, his deception is destroying the minds of God's people. He has people thinking that they are in control when they're not. Yeah. He have you thinking that it's you that's thinking, but he's doing but we find ourselves doing with really what he wants us to do. All right. He's a deceiver. Yes, yes he is. He's a liar, the yes. arch deceiver. Yes, sir. An imposter. Yes, sir. 
He the scripture said he's the father of lies. Mm. Wow. That means he know how to tell them. Mm. <laughs> Amen. And he's crafty in it because he's been doing it from the foundation of time. Yes, yes. He started back in the Garden of Eden, lying. Mm. And he's always been there lying ever since. Mm. Uh, come on, yeah. And believe you right now, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to deceive those that mind are not stayed on Christ. Yeah. He's a deceiver. Mm -hmm. We've got to know that we're on a battleground. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. And we're fighting every day, trying our best to reach our heavenly home. Yes. It's a battle. Yes, it is. And if we are not taking the battle seriously, mm -hmm. let me warn you, Satan is. All right. You can skip and walk through the tulips if you want to. <laughs> Satan got some cuckabugs out there. That's right. I know y'all from the south, man. I don't know what cuckabugs are. Amen. You fall on a bunch of them, they'll be stuck all over you. You be hollering out, ouch, ouch. And that's the deception of Satan. Even if you look at the cover book, because they are they are surrounded by the beauty of, of flowers and beautiful landscapes, but deep down in the soil is a deception. Come on now. He's ready, and his only purpose is to kill and destroy. Yes. He wanted to overthrow you. Mm. He wanted to destroy you. Yes, Lord. He wanted to destroy the hope and the patience and the faith of the saints. Talk. He's already done that to many now. Mm. He's, a, he's got in their minds and We've got to start defeating the enemy first of all in here. That's yeah. where the battle. That's where the battle starts. Yeah. Amen. Right there in the mind. It don't start out there after you yeah. see something happen. It starts here. Yeah. Satan so started war with your mind. Yeah. Telling you that you can and you can't. Mm -hmm. Telling you to do and you know you shouldn't do. Yeah. Yeah. And you sitting there wondering, well, I, I, I. I well, sure. Uh, well, don't debate with Satan and tell him to get behind you. Yes. He's warring in our minds. We must be spiritually minded yeah. to fight the battles. Amen. Amen. We cannot fight a spiritual war with our carnal minds. Yes. So stop trying to war against the devil with your mind. Because you are going to be defeated. Because to be carnal minded, the scriptures already tells us it's death. Yes. You're going to be destroyed. You're going to be overcome because Satan now got you trapped thinking that you are the right person and you're doing the right thing when you know that it's wrong. Come on. I hope y'all follow. He's controlling the minds. Yeah. And if we're having a spiritual battle, we have to use spiritual weapons. That's right. What weapon do you have commonly to fight against something you can't see? Yeah. No. But the scriptures tell us that our weapons are mighty. Yeah. And powerful. Yes, sir. To pull down strongholds yeah. of the enemy. Yes. These strongholds ain't out there. These strongholds take place in your mind. Right. 
When Satan can get control of your mind to make you believe that you are right and everybody else is wrong, you've been deceived. When Satan can get in your mind that you think that you can do wrong all the time, you've been deceived. Yes, sir. You can't do what you want to do if you're a child of God because the Bible says you are bought with a price. Yes. Uh -huh. Your life is no longer yes. yours. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I just can't sit down, Sister Bush, and decide that I just ain't going to do it today because <laughs> Then telling God that you just got to wait till I get ready. Yeah, come on now. Come on. Yes, sir. And I can't do that. I can't allow Satan to control my mind. No, sir. I got to have a desire myself. That's right. I have to know that I got a commitment myself. Yes, sir. I can't forget what God has done for me. Where you brought me from. That's yeah. right. Thank you, Lord. I cannot forget the horrible pit yeah. that he picked me up out of. Yes, yeah. Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I can't allow Satan to say that was a long time ago. You can do this now. Mm -hmm. And take a grant that take God's blessing for granted. I just can't. That's right. Satan can get in your mind. Let me say, I know there are some folks, Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. come on with it. Say them boldly. Satan ain't got no control over me. <laughs> I'm in total control of my mind. I, I am not allowing the devil to take control. Or just saying that you lie. Right? <laughs> right then you deceived. Yeah. So I really wonder who's in charge. Come on now. But he does. He often gets in our mind and war against our spirit. Yes, yes, yes. For a Christian just to know what God requires of them. And they don't do it. You've been deceived. Yes, sir. For the scripture say he that knows to do good. Come on. Y'all gonna help me here? Yeah. And he don't do it. Come on. To God, that's what? Sin. Yes. So if you know to do good and don't do it, then you've been deceived. Yes, yes. So Satan's already working on your mind. Tick, 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 tick. You may think you're in charge, but if it has you believing that you are right and God will understand, look at here. Let it go way back to God and of Eden. Oh, go ahead on. Go on, eat that fruit. Shut up. Oh, my goodness, don't look good. Oh, go, no, God, you know me. No, he loves you too much. He ain't gonna do nothing. Go ahead. Eat of it. And look who was deceived. I'm not just talking about the woman being deceived. Because that stupid man was deceived too. Does not think of this about his disobedience. Don't blame it all on the woman that no that he had an obligation too. Come on now. Oh, I went way off on that one, didn't I? <laughs> but Satan is a deceiver. He have you. Not only will he deceive you, but he'll have you deceive That's right. your own soul. That's right. That's right. Oh, that can't be possible. How in the world? How am I going to be deceiving myself? You know, 
If you ain't walking in the path, and if God is not ordering your steps, and if you're oh. constantly disobedient, if you're not doing what God has complained you to be, if you're not obeying God after he saved you from a burning hell, and you're still doing what you want to do, oh. you got to be cursing because it, it, it worries me when the church can be content and comfortable in their own disobedience. Blatant disobedient, and they just relax and say, well, You know what? God understand. Hmm. Well, he don't. Hmm. If he did, he wouldn't have to die on the cross for you. Amen. He wouldn't have to send his son to suffer for you. That's right. Just for you to kick back and do what you want to do. Amen. Jesus did not do what he wanted to do. He said, I always do those things that please my father. Yes, it ain't easy to cross wasn't easy. Come on. Come on but he endured the cross for you. Yes. I got to close here. I'm getting a little upset. I'm getting excited here. <laughs> <laughs> but now get upset, saying, get to dealing with my mind. That's right, talk Yes, sir. <laughs> I wonder today who's in control? Who's in charge? That's right. You may think that you're in charge. Yeah. But are you really? Are you really? Have you allowed the enemy to justify what you do? Yes. If you're not, you ain't in charge. That's right. If you're showing that you have excuses, mm. you've been deceptive. Yeah. You've been deceived. Yes. Somebody said a long time ago, didn't this is Bush? All the excuses were nailed to, nailed to the cross. Nailed to the cross. So you got an extra one there? <laughs> <laughs> You got something that ain't written? You better look at yourself deeply and try to realize who's in control here. Maybe you might want to sit back and say, hmm, maybe the devil do got me here. It's hard to admit that you are being ruled by an entity, but you don't have to be possessed. In order for the devil to lead you in the wrong direction. Yes. Yes. You let away with your own lust and entice. Come on. Ah, this is just something I want to do. <laughs> yeah, it's just something I feel like good about doing. That's right. And we sure never allow COVID to just say to this and use that to just beat down Christians. Yes. yes. Y'all, come on, say amen. amen. Somebody shout out there in Zoom, amen. amen. God went through it, so can we. Yes. Remember, Jesus said, and that's what I was going, I left out on last week what Jesus said. He that seeketh to save his life will lose it. Hmm. Y'all kind of cover up, say, cover, and you're seeking to save your life. And Christ didn't try to save his mm. and try to give life to you. Come on. But he that loses his life, in other words, put it on the line for my sake and the gospel. Yeah. That sacrifice, yes, sir. God see. Yeah. Yes, and he said, those are the ones going to be saved. Yes, sir. So why are you protecting yourself and using covers for your Oh, that's the excuse. Mm. That extra excuse. Satan <laughs> <laughs> that just got in your mind. Come on now. Preach. Not good enough. It's kindling us from pleasing God. Come on. We can't justify not pleasing God. That's right. He that comes to him must believe and they must please 
him who has called him Come on. to be a soldier. Yes, sir. Now, if you're on the battlefield for the Lord, then you're a soldier of the Lord. Yes. Right. And you do those things and you fight and you stand fast because you know your spiritual battle are already won. Yeah. But if you're a carnal mind, that you are already defeated because you're compromising yeah. with the enemy. You, you allow them to say and say, hey, now, let's take a little rest here. Let's sit on the sideline for a little while. The battle is getting a little bit too heated. But you got to continue to fight the good fight of faith and not just on Sunday morning. That is a war that's going on Every day when you get up in the morning, the devil yeah. already yeah. in your mind. Yeah. You're already yeah. in your spirit, yeah. telling you that this and making yeah. you angry and mad about that and making you yeah. upset about this yeah. and that. And he's true. already beating on you, but it's time yeah. for the church to rise up. Yeah. Tell Satan yeah. to get behind you. Yeah. Of church, Thank be you. what God intended for you to be. Yes. yes. Amen. Be responsible, children. Yes. Of faith. Yes. yes. Jesus. My cut, my job. Mm. Gas prices. Yes. Yeah. Health and sickness. Yes. Disease. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talk, Nothing gonna stop me. Yes. Yeah. Right. From getting here and giving God the glory. Yes. I owe him too much, sister. Yes, sir. I owe him too much. Yes. I can't stop now. Yes. That's right. You've been good, sister. Yes. Yes, Lord. Look at you. Thank you, Lord. Look where he brought you from. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Look what he done for you. Yes. Look how he made a way for you. Yes. Look at the pit that he brought you out of. Look at the way that he made for you. Yeah, yeah. Look at the job that he gave to you. Yes. And you go sit down and not give him praise. Come on now. Yes, sir. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condemning those that praise God at home. And you can praise God at home. That's right. You can praise God in your car. Yes, yes sir. You can praise God. In the bathroom, in the That's living right. room, right. in your backyard, in your front yard. Yes. You can praise God everywhere. Yes, you can. But remember the Bible said, look, Christians, don't forsake yourself yes. from coming together. Yes, sir. There's a matter of some are, and though some are falling away. Yeah. And my heart goes out to you because I don't want to see nobody lost. That's right. And this somebody saying right now, I ain't lost. I don't care what. Well, Satan done deceive you. Yes. Yes, sir. He done got in your mind again. <laughs> right. You ain't been in church in a year. You can't say that you've fallen away from that. Watch it. That's right. Yeah, I said, I said, he on that every Sunday. But you know, as a pastor, yes, sir, right. that's right. That's my job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm yes, doing sir. what I'm supposed to do. Yes, sir. I'm right supposed now. to keep the flock That's together right. and reach out yes. to the flock and warn the flock Great. and let them know where they're going astray. That's my job. Yes, sir. Yes. So y'all need to pat me on the back and pray for me for doing my job. Yes, sir. And trying to get a message out to a sick enough people to yes. allow them to say them to us. Deceive them. That's yes. right. Great. I'm closing on this note. We think the sick, we so religiously upright. Mm -hmm. Self-right. We got some of them that march out. God have mercy. Mm -hmm. They just think that they are above reproach. Mm -hmm. right, Satan can't, can't trust me. I, got, I do this and I got this and I've mm -hmm. done this and I know this and I walk like this. But even if you walk your best, you ain't perfect. Uh, oh, right. Right. Preach! Yes, sir. Yes, right. Jesus was perfect. Mm -hmm. Can I get an amen? amen? And Satan tried to get in his mind. Yes, he did. 
And if you try to get in his mind, what do you think he's going to do on us? Yeah. That's right. Now, come on, help me. That's right. That's right. Should he say that? <laughs> They didn't want to come through email. That's right. You don't have mail coming to your house. That's right. They didn't tell Jesus, baby, look at here. Come here, man. If you be, what are you trying to make Jesus doubt who he is? Come on now. Ah! Yeah. And he, walked, he sat on the right hand of God, and he is God. Oh. And Satan tried to get him to, to doubt who he is. Yeah. Oh, sir. Just like he tried to get us. I wonder if I really say mm. oh, I wonder if God is really on my side. Uh -huh. He gets us to doubt. Yeah, that's not, when you think like that, that's Satan born in your mind. Yes, right. yes. He said, come on. If you would be the son of God, just turn them, turn, turn, that, turn that bread and them stones into bread there. Why don't you do that, brother? Get, show me, show me, show me. Mm. Uh, and, and Jesus said, man should not live by bread alone. That's right. That's but by every word, word. that proceeded out of the mouth of, mouth of God. Yeah. And then said it wouldn't stop then. He took him up on a high pedestal. Mm -hmm. Say, look here. Go on and cast yourself down. Go on and jump. You know, before you hit the ground, the angel's going to come and pick you up. And Jesus told that slew foot liar <laughs> that thou should not tip the Lord thy God. Oh, that's right. And then the angel of art, lying, deception didn't stop. Don't ever think Satan's gonna come to you one time and stop. He's gonna keep coming. That's right. All right now. He came back. He said, uh, Look here. All them kingdoms, let me show you out there. <laughs> See all them kingdoms in the world? See, I, I, I'll give them to you all. Just like that was a bargain. Mm -hmm. And when he's the king of kings, mm -hmm. and his kingdom, is far greater than any kingdom. That's right. Yeah. Yes, sir. One thing Jesus didn't forget who he was. No, no sir. Amen. He said, I give them to him as you do, just bow down and worship me. Mm. You got Christians today bowing down. Mm. Bowing down to keep their jobs. Bowing down. Come on, sir. Come on, help me out. Yes, sir. Just stay out of church today and I'm I, I, I'll speak to God for you. Mm. 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 See, ain't having no communication with God. No. Mm. He's all laughing at you because they say, I got you. Mm. Right. I got you. Yes, I got you again this Sunday too. Yes, I got you. I got you. Yeah, you thought you was doing right, but Satan was using you. Yes. And Jesus said, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Mm. What what he said you should do? Worship. Where are the worshipers? Come on. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thou serve. We cannot serve the devil and serve God at the same time. Either you're going to cling to one and despise the other yes. or hate the one and love the other. Yes, sir. You can't be half in and half out. Talk. Yes, sir. Who's in charge? <clears throat> Who's in charge? Yes. If you say, I am, then that's commonly speaking. Because if you're in charge, then you're not allowing the Spirit of God to lead and to guide you and to be in charge. Yes, come on now. I got to stop. Come on now. Holy Ghost wants somebody to know something, don't he? Yes, sir. Somebody need to take this message. Run with it. Yes, sir. 
I sure want to pray to God, just keep it in their minds and their thoughts all week long. That's right. That's right. That the trouble of their spirits and mm. encourage them, strengthen their hearts. Yeah. You ain't going to be able to shake this message, y'all. Mm -hmm. If you're cutting me off right now on Zoom, you ain't going to be able to shake this message. Yeah. 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 Talk now. <laughs> I'm determined to do God's will, and Thank you, God is calling me to call you to do His will with you. Yes, sir. Stop giving in to the devil. Yes. That's warring in your mind. Yes. And flooding out the spirit. God can't even speak to you no more. Mm -hmm. Oh. When God can't speak to you, and you feel good about what you're doing, and you know it ain't right, mm -hmm. then you that dangerous. Yes, sir. It may be that God has turned you over to have a reprobate mind. That is not the mind of Christ. He's just allowing you now to do the things that you want to do so you won't feel guilty. And if you not feel guilty about not doing what God wants you to do, I hate to say it. No, I ain't hating it. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. You're reprobate in the faith. Yes, sir. Yes. You're reprobate. Come on now. Let's deal with reality. Let's yes. stop playing church. Yes, sir. Let's stop playing Christians. Yes. And be real. Who we are. Who yes, is in charge? Thank you, Lord. Is God in control? Is he in charge this morning? Come on now. Then give yourself to him wholly. Ask them to order your step yes. in his word. Yes. I guarantee you won't be home. Yes. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Somebody just ain't saved. Somebody just, and Jesus said, a lot of y'all just ain't going to get to heaven. That's right. I didn't say that. The word did. That's right. Jesus said to us, he said, many of y'all standing here won't see heaven. Some of y'all howling, Lord, Lord. Come on. I don't even know who you are. Mm -hmm. You ain't been in church so long, then who are you? Mm -hmm. Who? I'm sorry. Depart. Mm -hmm. Go. Mm -hmm. Toodle. Toodle. <laughs> bye bye. Your works that you did, you did them on your own. Yes. And that's what happened. Sitting got us doing so much on our own. That we think that we're pleasing God, but we're only pleasing ourselves because Satan has deceived us. God bless y'all. Amen. 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 We give God. Somebody cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't here, but. Okay, I was going to say, Lord, that's pretty. That's pretty, y'all. That's pretty. That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! Praise Master. You know, I'm, I'm just glad that God used me like He does. Yes, sir. Uh, I, 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 preaching the gospel is not to just shout you all the time. Amen. Amen. Yes, to sir. Let a Christian. make you stronger in the Lord to make you ready for his coming. That's my desire. Paul told the Roman soldier, Romans, my prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal of God but not according to knowledge. So many of us just have zeals. Not according to knowledge means that we're still spiritually we must develop the power in our mind to win battles. That's where our battles are won. That's where we claim victory. Not out here, not when it's all over, not when it's already a mess. But let's defeat Satan right here. So he'll never take charge over my mind. And believe me, I know when he entered in because I know when he's trying to talk to me. 
Just like he know when he's trying to talk to you. Say, nah, sin, get behind me, get behind me, get behind me, get behind me. Oh, no, you ain't no. Uh-uh. I bind that talk in the name of Jesus. And you have that power and authority. For Jesus said, I give you power and authority over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing by any means will hurt you. Thank God for Jesus. Thank God for the love and authority that He's given us to take control of our lives. Are you really in charge? Are you really in control? Think about it. Pray about it. And seek God. Amen. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God give power, glory, and dominion henceforth and forever. There you are say amen. Amen. Glory to God. Powerful, powerful message, Pastor. Thank you, sir.